Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be talking to you about Agfa Photo APX400, the faster sibling of APX100 that we put in the Wonder Box a few months ago. Whether you are new to film photography or a long-time analog enthusiast, our channel covers all things film, from tips and tricks, film reviews to how-to videos. Subscribe now and keep those notifications turned on so that you never miss a beat. Happy shooting! So, Agfa Photo 400. Now, last time when we talked about Agfa 100 APX, we talked quite a lot about the history of the brand, so I'm not going to go into that again in too much detail. If you want to learn a bit more, then we have the blog or we have the previous video that you can quickly watch. It is a really interesting story, but the short version of it is that Agfa is a brand of film that is known for being affordable and reliable. And APX400 definitely delivers on both of those counts. It is 400 speed, so obviously faster and more sensitive to light than its APX100 sibling. It can also be pushed up to 1600 and still give really good results. So a lot of folks out there who shoot this film say that it is really flexible. That's one of the reasons they really enjoy it, that they can put it into low light situations and push it in developing and it will still give really, really lovely results. The grain is there for sure, especially when you push it, but it's not overwhelming. It won't ruin the image. You'll still get great resolution, lovely detail and a lovely final monochrome look. Of course, it is a faster film at ISO 400, which means it's great for low lights. So as the nights draw in, as the clocks move, then you'll be very grateful for those extra stops with your camera. But of course, ISO 400 doesn't just mean dark situations. It can also mean that you can shoot with a faster shutter speed on a regular camera and still get great images. This is really important when you're shooting fast moving subjects, so sport, children, pets, things that won't sit still while you carefully compose and light them. ISO 400 allows you to put your shutter speed up to 100th or one over 200 maybe, and still be able to capture an image without losing all of the light. So that is another fantastic use for this film, is family photos, pets, children, fast moving subjects, grandparents, if they're particularly speedy around the garden, then this film will deliver wonderful, wonderful images without too much fuss and with a whole load of flexibility. It's a great film for point and shoot. It's a great film for backup as well, especially if you're not sure about the lighting you're going to be going into. One person in the reviews compared it favorably to HP5, which is probably one of the nicest things that anyone can say about a black and white film, seeing as HP5 is often used as the flagship film for monochrome photography. So really, this is, this is a relatively simple film this week. It's one that you can throw into your camera, shoot fun things without worrying too much about. If you shot it before, then why not shoot it at 1600? Take this moment as a challenge, a Wonderbox challenge for you to try pushing the film for the first time. If you haven't shot it before, then maybe start with it at box speed, start with it at ISO 400, just to get to know the feel, the grain, the aesthetic, because that often with me in particular, when I first shoot a film, I want to shoot it in the most neutral way possible, i.e. at box speed, without being too crazy with the effects, without trying to push the shutter speed too long and test reciprocity. Just shoot it around normal shutter speeds, normal lighting situations at box speed to get a feel for how it looks versus Delta, versus Tri-X, versus all of the other amazing black and white films that are out there. I think you'll be really pleasantly surprised. It's a lovely film and a wonderful one to add to your shooting toolkit. It's also one that people often talk about as a good beginner's film because of its flexibility, because of its fast speed. And actually I'm gonna read out a review that I really enjoyed um, that came in from somebody who said, this is their first film use for over 17 years. So they'd shot before, moved away, presumably either to digital or dropped photography for a couple of decades and came back. And they chose this film to come back with, partly because they really enjoy monochrome, they say color doesn't really appeal to them in photography, and partly the fact that it looked affordable and reliable, which of course is what Agfa is all about. They said, as a new beginner, <laughs> presumably with a lot of past information, but maybe not the confidence yet as they get back into it, they found the 400 speed useful in poor light and especially with the less than steady camera work. So of course, it's not just the fast moving subjects you need to worry about. It's also, does your handshake? Do you need to be able to stay steady? Of course, faster 
film will allow you to, again, work with faster shutter speeds to reduce camera shake. And allowing for their inexperience, they said that they found the images quite good with acceptable blacks. So not maybe as dark, maybe not as powerful blacks as professional emulsions might give, but very acceptable in day-to-day -day work. They also said that the definition was really good, that they scanned it and got great results. So there we go, really lovely, recommendation from somebody who is a new beginner, which I love as a little phrase for folks who are coming back to analog and digital. Thank you so much for watching. If you've shot this before, let us know. And as I say, take this, if you're a Wonderbox subscriber, as a challenge to push the film, take it to 1600 ISO and see what it does for you versus previous results. If you haven't shot it before, then enjoy affordable, reliable, definite film just to relax into and see what you get back. Thank you so much for watching and I'll be back next week.